Beautiful use Botox to help freshen and airbrush fine lines and wrinkles out our face. Everyone's slightly different, but we shouldn't have it, no one needs to have it done. And I think that's part of one of the most important things that, that we should mention here. But a couple of times a year will help keep the muscles at bay and help keep the lines softened out. When we start to notice the fine lines in our face, a good age to start, usually early 30s. Um, but we can have Botox as licensed right up to the age of 65. So, but early 30s, when we start to notice those signs of ageing, is a great time to start. First and foremost, we have to remember that Botox is a prescription medication and it can only be given by a medical professional. Things can go wrong, the same with any other medical procedure. So hence why there's only a doctor, a nurse pr practitioner or a dentist that can, that can give that, these treatments, but also fix anything that could potentially go wrong. So the first area we're going to do is what's commonly called our angry scowl or our frown lines. Um, and these are our corrugator muscles here. Um, and it's just five small injections just under the skin, just into the belly of the muscle. Small amounts of Botox and that's going to help relax that muscle so we don't have these lines when we make an angry frown. So we're going to, it's always it's good to explain to your, your patient what area you're going to do first so they don't get a fright when you're you inject a needle into their forehead. Um, but we'll start off with one area and we'll start off with the, the angry scowl here and it's five small injection points just underneath the skin into the muscle. It's important as well to understand mus muscle depths. Muscles lie behind each other, in front of each other. So even your, your injection technique, um, depth will be different at each injection point. It's just a small scratch, the patient won't feel any discomfort and it's over in a few minutes. So I'm just going to do the first injection point so that Margaret can see what it's like. First injection point just in the, the body here of the muscle. And I'm just going to hold and just inject really slowly, just under the skin and inject. So we'll have a small raised bump there. That'll last about five minutes. You're putting a liquid in, so you, you don't want it to spread anywhere. So we're just going to put my finger here, just underneath the eye, and just inject really slowly into the muscle here. There we go. We've got lots of small veins and arteries that run just underneath our skin. So there's always a potential for bleeding or a small bruise. And again, it's just to explain that to the client beforehand. These raised marks will go away in about five, 10 minutes. And nobody will even know she's had her treatment done. So we're just going to finish off with the small tails of the corrugators here. And that's the first area of Botox done. So the third area is our crow's feet. Um, so as I said, we get our client just to smile and we can see all the lines here. Um, and down around the ocularis muscle, we'll inject some units of Botox, which will help relax that muscle. Um, so when we smile, we don't have any lines around there. It's a medical treatment, so you have to follow your patient. Good medical practice would be follow your patients up. So we invite our, our clients to come back at two weeks, just to make sure their treatments work properly and they're happy with the results. Um, people understand it's a safe drug used in the proper hands. And people just feel more confident and see fresher results. Um, people investing in their face now, so yeah.